Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, and welcome back to my playthrough of GTA 3 The Definitive Edition. So we're gonna continue from where we left off. On the last part, we did King Courtney's missions, and on this part, we're gonna be doing Ray's missions. I think Ray has five or six missions, so he actually has a decent amount of missions. I'm sorry for a little bit of the delay, I just have to wait, because oftentimes, if, if there's any curse words within the first 30 seconds, the YouTube, the YouTube video does get demonetized, unfortunately. So here we go. Let's do these. I actually do like Ray's missions a lot. That scumbag, McCaffrey! He took more bribes than anyone. He thinks he's gonna get an honorable discharge if he turns state evidence. He just squealed. He's under armed protection in which that property down in Newport, some apartment behind a car park. Talks that place. That's it. Flush him out and you hunt him down. Make sure he never talks to nobody. So, um, uh, do you know who you're actually killing in this mission? A lot of people don't know about this, but who you're actually killing is a pretty important character. In GTA 3, he wasn't that much of an important character, but in Liberty City Stories, he was. You're kill killing Leon McCaffrey. Who is Leon McCaffrey? Remember in um, a Liberty City Stories, that corrupt cop that helps Tony? He takes the drive with Tony. He also drives the Banshee. This is him. So at the time, Ray was his partner, and they've been partners for three years. Ray was not a corrupt cop yet, but he's a corrupt cop now. And when he says that Leon is turning state's evidence, what he means is that Leon is ratting him out. And so Leon is um, uh, ratting out Ray so that he gets a, a smaller sentence, or doesn't even serve any time at all, depending on you know what info he gives the state. That's what they mean by turning states, that you're, um, uh, you're giving information to the government, so you're ratting somebody out. That's the, So whenever you hear turning states, a slang term for means they're, they're ratting. Um, but anyways... Um, this is Leon's apartment here, and I wonder what he looks like in the Definitive Edition, but, um, anyways, I really hate this part, because you have to try to throw the grenade in his, like, in his window, and this just, just really sucks. So let's see if we can do this. Oh my god, we actually got it. Oh my god, okay, we got it, so... Take out McCaffrey, okay, so McCaffrey's running. He's under witness protection. I wonder what McCaffrey looks like in the Definitive Edition. Okay, that's him. He got into that car fast. Okay. Whoa, oh. Okay, so unfortunately we didn't get a chance to see what McCaffrey looks like. I was really curious what he looks like in the Definitive Edition, um, because you just see him in that. But it was like a, char a character is killing a mission, but he plays such a big role in um, uh, in uh, Liberty City stories. Hey, Jay, over here. An old army buddy of mine runs a business in Rockford. We saw action in Nicaragua back when the country knew what it was doing. Anyway, some cartel scum roughed him up yesterday. Said they'd be back for some of his stock today. He's gonna need backup, and in return, I'll give you a knockdown rates on any hardware you buy. I'd go myself, but the old sciatic is playing up. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> good luck. So, um... You know who we're going to go and meet in this mission here? Who we're going to meet in this mission? This is going to be Phil Cassidy. Um, and this is chronologically, this is the last time that you see Phil Cassidy. So, uh, Phil Cassidy mentions Nicaragua a bit. Ray mentions it, so Ray must have served there. Um, Nicaragua is a country in Central America. And, um, uh, Nicaragua experienced its own coups and revolutions, and, um, Nicaragua had a revolution, what was that, late 70s, early 80s? And so, officially, the U.S. was not involved, but the CIA were, and so the CIA were supporting a lot of covert operations inside, um, uh, Central America. And that's probably where Ray and, um, uh, Ray and Phil served together. I want to see what Phil looks like here in the Definitive Edition. Ray phoned ahead, but I thought there'd be more of you. Can't believe those yellow belly bastards left me without proper cover again. Well, three arms are better than one, so grab whatever you need. Those Columbians will be here any minute. So Phil Cassidy does not um, have his arm because remember, that's um, uh, he lost it in Vice City, but he lies that he lost it in Nicaragua to Claude. Um, okay. 
gonna be blocking this path here. We got the M16, so I'm excited to use this. Got some of these frags still left here. Ah, oh, great. Those shotguns are just so annoying when they use them. There, the M16 is such a great weapon. And there's armor back here. Oh, great. God damn. Damn, I, I'm sorry, guys. I just, I, I really hate when they use those stupid shotguns. They piss me off. Okay, so we're gonna try again. I'm sorry, guys, that I died there. Um, I just, I really hate, like, I, I really don't like the, um, the shotguns. Like, the shotgun spam, I just... I just find it so annoying because in GTA 3 the shotguns are so broken because yeah like see I hate those things so much okay I'm gonna see if I can do like use the car as cover here okay gotta help Phil now or he's done great yeah see that's that's what I hate about the shotguns Okay, there we go. Ooh. Man, I just I I that the reason I really don't like the shotguns in GTA 3 is cuz they blow up your car so quick and because the, they knock you down to the ground when you get shot. Hey, if I teamed up with you in Nicaragua, maybe I'd still have my arm. If you need any firepower, just drop by and take what you need from the lockers. Leave the cash under the bench. Now get out of here. I'll handle the cops. So now we can purchase the M16 and the rocket launcher from Phil, and also the shotgun, um... Okay. Take a rocket launcher, we got plenty of money. Also, I saw, like, um... Oh, the armor's gone, there's an armor in this mission here, um... I did see your comments, guys, and I know some of you guys said in the comments that, uh... You didn't like that I went into missions, like, unprepared, and it's... it's I'm sorry about that, because like, sometimes, like, it's my fault, I get, like, really overconfident, and sometimes I'll just rush, rush into the mission, like, without going to the gun store first, and, but, um, I'll, I'll be better prepared on these missions now, so I'm just bought, like, a ton of, like, M16 ammo, I think I'm good, I'm, like, I'm packing more than, than Tony Montana right now here, so, I think we'll be good for a little bit now. And, um, also, the story behind what was going on there is the Colombian cartel was trying to take Phil's guns there. And so, um, uh, Phil basically just defended himself. They were trying to move in on Phil's bi uh, gun-running business. And notice how Phil says that, um, if they team up together, he would have still had his arm if Claude was with him in Nicaragua. Well, Phil didn't lose his arm in Nicaragua. He lost his arm in a stupid boomshine accident. And so he, um, uh, the reason he says that is because he, um, uh, uh, he doesn't want to admit how he really lost his arm, that it was embarrassing for him. The, he'd rather, like, you know, lie that it was like he, he went, he lost his arm in, like, a war hero story than say that he lost it doing a stupid, um, a stunt. I know a real important man in town, a soft touch with, uh, shall we say, exotic tastes and the money to indulge them. He's involved in a legal matter, and the prosecution has some rather embarrassing photos of him at a morgue party or something. The evidence is being driven across town. You are going to have to ram that car and collect each little bit of evidence as it falls out. When you've got it all, leave it in the car and torch it. We're both gonna do pretty well out of this, kid. So, um, basically, and I'm gonna get a new car, um, 
what's going on here is that someone is extorting Donald Love. And, um, uh, oh, we got a better car here. So Donald Love is the richest man in Liberty City. And, um, as you know, Donald Love from Liberty City stories and from, um, uh, from GTA 3, Vice City, um, Donald Love is a cannibal. So he, um, he eats bodies, um, pretty creepy. And, um, uh, what the, okay, this is underneath us, so there's an underpass that's under, under. And so when Donald, when Ray said morgue party, what he basically means is Donald Love hosts these creepy parties where he eats dead bodies and, um, it's like, it's basically like a fancy dinner, but he's eating dead bodies. It's, it's really disturbing. But that's, that's Donald Love. So, like, the older GTA games, they used to be so much darker. Like, they were so much dark, darker and gruesome. And in the old GTA games, um, uh, you also had the CIA, which I think these guys are the CIA. Uh, but in, in the newer HD ones, it's, it's the, uh, the prosecution of Drop the Evidence. Okay. But in the, in the new ones, it's IAA. Okay, two out of six. This mission is actually pretty easy. Keep up with the truck. You have a fast car like this. Just hit it in the back. Try not to crash. You get the evidence. Okay, three out of six evidence packages. You want to dance your ass off? Check out. All right, that was whatever with good. Th Jazz is your bag. There's an all-night jazz feast at Luigi's Bar, and that's also in the red light district. You know what makes no sense about this mission? If you blow up that truck, I think you fail the mission. But, like, the whole purpose of this is to get the evidence and to destroy it. So if you blow up the truck, you fail. Um... Yeah, that still... That still didn't come out? Okay. I love this song, though. Um, There we go. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, my God. Uh... That's one of the stupidest ways to fail. That was that's not even a hard mission. That's one of the stupidest ways to fail. Oh my god. I remember when I played GTA 3 like earlier this year, um the original one, this, the same thing happened to me but not in this mission where I got knocked off the bridge. Um damn, that really sucks. That's just um oh, and I'm sorry everyone. <laughs> okay, 1 out of 6 now. Guy is driving like a maniac. Welcome back. This is Andy. Playing all the best music on the Lips 106 Expressway to Hot Music. Coming up next, it's Andy's short hot mix when we play one record. Back to back. Damn. Okay, another one. Remember, Lips 106 is the home of the short hot mix. Because we believe music should be short and hot. One more package. Damn. Come on. And my luck right now. Having some terrible luck. Okay. Leave the evidence in the car and then torch it. Well, this is what we brought the grenades for. You know what what makes no sense? Wouldn't that mission have been just much more simple if you had um uh just blown up the truck carrying the evidence like I said earlier? 
Like, why go through all this effort and just, um, uh... <laughs> it doesn't really make much sense when you think about it. I think my partner's a rat! We gotta shut him up permanently! He goes fishing out of his boat near the lighthouse on Portland Rock most nights. Steal a police boat! Make sure his backstabbing plans are sunk! I want him sleeping with the fishes, not eating them. So Ray thinks that his partner is, um, uh, ratting him out. So, and he's on a fishing trip right now, which is kind of ironic. Sleeping with the fishes, for a lot of people that don't know, that's like the most... That is like the most, like, common, like, um, uh, common, like, gangster phrase. Like, sleeping with the fishes basically means, um, killing them. And I think we're, um, uh, I think that that, fr that phrase has been used for so long, um, uh, but, like, um, uh, the most popular use of sleeping with the fishes, uh, what, what most people know it from, is, um, in The Godfather Part 1, um, uh, there's a scene in that when, um, uh, Don Corleone will send Luca Brasi over to try to talk to the Tatalini family, try to infiltrate them. And, um, uh, Tatalia family, not Tatalini, um, Tatalia. But, um, anyways, the Tatalias end up killing Luca Brasi, and then they send over, like, Luca Brasi's bulletproof vest, and they send, like, um, uh, a big fish wrapped in it. And, um, uh, and that basically means that Luca, Luca Brasi is sleeping with the fishes, Luca Brasi's dead. Means that when they say sleeping with the fishes, that they're gonna dump their body underwater. the lighthouse and rub uh rub out race partner it means kill him they you know even rockstar uses a lot of like you know street slang when they um say like they say whack curly bob in like one mission in the description and stuff i do like the water how it looks in the um uh the definitive edition i think that the water is a great improvement here Okay, so there's Ray's partner. Grenades. Who fishes like that? That's, that's... Uh, my god, that's the weirdest way to fish. So, not the mission's not too bad. Just chase him down. Oh god, I forgot about the barrels that he drops behind you. Yeah, that I forgot about. I think he's done. Yeah, that's it. Just dodge the barrels and just blow them up really quickly. Um, that's it. Easy. This mission is gonna be good here. Plaster Blaster. You useless bastard! You totally messed up! My ass is on the line, and you can't even kill a goddamn fly! I paid you good money to kill that witness, and he ain't dead! And today he's gonna make a federal deposition! He's being moved any second now from the Carson General Hospital up in Rockford. If he squeals, I squeal! So basically what happened is that um, Leon McCaffrey that we killed in the second mission isn't actually dead. He's still alive. Even though he got blown up in the car, somehow he survived the, the car explosion. So he's one lucky guy. But he's not going to be so lucky now. And this fits McCaffrey's op- this fit- 
fits McCaffrey's character pretty well, because remember in, um, uh, in Liberty City Stories, he cut ties with Tony, because he felt that the feds were get were onto the Leones. So McCaffrey's a very opportunistic person, um, and Ray learned a lot from him, too. Now, this mission just kind of sucks, because... The reason this mission sucks is because you gotta damage the ambulance, and the moment you damage the ambulance, McCaffrey should fall out. You've been spotted. Okay, okay, so we gotta put enough damage on the ambulance. Okay. McCaffrey has, um... Damn! Bullets won't get through that. Okay. Look at look at how ridiculous this is right now. You see what, what McCaffrey is surviving? All these cars are getting in the way too. That's what McCaffrey looks like. He looks like a mummy right now. Okay, he's finally dead. Oh my god. Like, how much did we have to blow him up? So, I don't know how how McCaffrey is um, uh, still alive through all of that, but um, uh, we ended up getting away now. We have some crazy NPCs chasing us. But um, Ray has one final mission now. So, um, uh, Ray doesn't appear to have any more missions now, but he still has one more mission. But um, the mission isn't spawning right now. But it's gonna spawn um, uh, when we complete some of Donald Love's mission, so I forgot about that. I forgot that Ray's final mission doesn't spawn until uh, you do um, some of Donald Love's missions. So I guess we'll leave it off here. Uh, on the next part, we will be doing um, uh, we will be doing Donald Love's missions, and we'll also do the final Ray mission. So um, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, drop a like. It does help the series out a lot. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.